Welcome back. Joining me now on Primetime is a very knowledgeable real estate expert because not only does he know real estate, he's a former accountant and a master negotiator with a construction background, which are all skills that are vital when it comes to real estate. Not only that, he specializes in Poway, Stonebridge, and Scripps Ranch. I'd like to welcome Brian Hoffman from Coldwell Banker to Primetime. Welcome. Thank you very much. Pleasure to be here. I can't believe you have all these skills. <laughs> uh, you know, expert negotiator, you have a construction background. I started Plus, young. Real estate. <laughs> Tell us about how you encompass that into your daily activities in, in being a real estate agent. Certainly. So the first p part of the business is trying to get business, mm -hmm. right? So marketing and, and negotiating is very important. And also through the transaction, negotiation is, is imperative. Mm -hmm. um, you can really make or break a deal with, uh, with that knowledge or with that lack of knowledge. And for the construction side, we can, especially with sellers, we can mm -hmm. help them recommend this is too expensive, this is not something you want to fix, or don't, let's just focus on a small thing right now and we'll get uh, top dollar for your house. So. And, and on top of that, if you are representing sellers, you could, you could also advise them like, well, this is um, not a supporting beam. You knock out this wall right. and open up the room, which is right. that look is so hot right now, right? Right, right. and we work with what they yeah. can, can, can accomplish as well. Of course. I love that. Yeah. Wish yeah. my real estate agent had <laughs> construction <laughs> background. It makes a difference knowing what's load yeah. bearing and what's not. Obviously, that's that's the difference between $2,000 and yeah. $20,000 in terms when, of fixing something. So. It is, and when I was buying my house, my agent said, oh yeah, you could do this, do this. I found out later <laughs> that there's no possible way to do that, and I probably <laughs> wouldn't have purchased that house. Oh, so that's wow. a very vital skill that you have. Right. Awesome. Right. Um, so tell me another reason why you're so good at your job. I have a team, yeah. and not every single person is an expert in every single thing, as much as the experience that I have and in different, different capacities with, again, accounting background, mm -hmm. so that really helps with knowing the numbers, right, and being able to help people understand those and the construction side. But I'm not an expert necessarily in, say, the marketing or the advertising, but Rachel, my, my wife, my team member, helps me with that side of it as well. So we all have our different strengths that really build that together. And then we have somebody on staff as well, mm -hmm. part of our team that handles the paperwork so we can focus on the clients. And trying to do a one-stop shop for as one agent mm -hmm. is a little, it's a lot. So by having somebody that is an expert in every little capacity benefits the client and mm -hmm. there's full, uh, what we consider full service at the, mm -hmm. highest, the highest level. You have a smooth system running there. We do. Okay, so you're an expert in the Scripps Ranch, Poway, and the Stonebridge area. Right. Why would wa someone want to live there? Tell us why, why that's a special area. How much time do we have? <laughs> <laughs> is it that special? Really? It's a great area. It really is. I had uh, worked a long time. I ran a property management mm -hmm. company for a long time in the beach area. And I was lived there for a little, little bit as well. And I've lived actually in the 20 years I've been in San Diego. Mm -hmm. I've, I've bounced all over the place. And, I landed in Scripps Ranch because of the lifestyle that's there. It's very family oriented, even though there's, you know, others that are single, empty nesters, whatever. But it's a clean, safe, very uh, community focused, very high volunteer rate there. People are very proud to live there. And it's one of the few communities that I've experienced in San Diego that the, the kids want to stay and live in that particular area yeah. as well. So there's a couple others, Allied Gardens and a couple other areas in San Diego that, that's multi-generational. And that's what Scripps Ranch is like as well. And the schools are outstanding. They just surpassed, I hate to say it, but they just surpassed Poway. Uh, school district. And that's hard and to do. It is. They're known for their great school district. Right, right. So wow. it's it's a great great area to, to be at. And it's commute wise. Um, mm -hmm. It's south of where all the traffic really loads up on the 15. Mm -hmm. So you can get pretty much anywhere pretty quickly. So there's always the desire to live near the coast. Mm -hmm. But in terms of not having to deal with congestion, not having the cost factor, and again, being on the coast, I, I recognize there's you know mold problems that uh, living too close. Um, sunshine, we actually I, get I sunshine. My voice. <laughs> <laughs> we actually get sunshine. Yeah, and you don't we, get we don't locked in. With we it. don't get locked yeah. in. So, and again, we're 20, 25 minutes yeah. from the ocean. It's close enough, yeah. and it's just for again for commute and costs and and community. It's an excellent place to be. You know, uh, home price sales have gone up like 
25 percent in the last in the year last. Yeah. yeah are you seeing that as well in those areas pretty close to that not quite we didn't have the same undulation that yeah. other areas did because it's such a desirable place to so they, live those so houses held their value they did wow. so we we've only experienced a 18 19 percent appreciation <laughs> in the yeah. last year as opposed to 25 yeah, percent you'd yeah. rather if you're going to invest money you'd rather right. invest in properties that hold their right. values in a recession no matter if we can outride exactly. the waves exactly. of real estate oh, can you share with us some of your favorite listings that you have right now? Absolutely. Okay. Uh, yeah, I got a couple. The uh, first one, if we could go to, it's uh, on Fortino. Okay. And this home is just over 3,100 square feet. It's fairly new construction. It was built in 2006. But this, what's interesting about this home, you can see how light and bright it is, not only from yeah. the front, but the inside also, if we go to the next picture, that the kitchen oh, was actually wow. completely redone top to bottom in 2008. This was originally a foreclosure and they took the kitchen with them. So this, <laughs> this, this buyer actually went through and it's a brand new kitchen all the way, all the way through. So it's only a couple years new and the owners are just fastidious, just great, great owners. The house is br in brand new condition, if you will. And uh, we go to that the, kitchen. it's really, really pretty. Uh, it's one of the only white kitchens that I've actually seen in all of Stonebridge. If we go to the next picture, uh -huh. and this is the uh, the family room right across. So it's basically a great room, and it leads out to the backyard. And uh, again, it's just basically a brand new house. It's in excellent condition. It looks brand new. Yeah, they they do a great job, and it's actually the the most competitively priced home in Stonebridge How right now as well. We're asking seven seventy five to eight twenty five. That's a good and deal. For How many square feet? Thirty one hundred square feet. That's a big house for that amount. It's a good buy, actually. <laughs> Maybe I should sell my house and go out there. <laughs> you would enjoy it, actually. Stonebridge is an excellent, excellent community. There's twelve communities in Stonebridge, yeah. and kind of officially, if you will, the starter homes of Stonebridge yeah. start at the front. And what's nice about this home is it's located more toward the front, yeah. and so commute-wise, it saves on your time. Stonebridge is about two and a half, three miles long. And doing that every single day, commuting kids or work, yeah. whatever, you save a few minutes. And it adds up if you're driving kids and soccer Don't practice you know and it. Don't grocery you know store it. and what have you. Do yeah. you have another listing? We do. So my next one, if you could, uh, so there we go. So this one is almost 4,400 square feet. This was built in 2011 and it is a stunning home. What's really yeah. nice about this particular property is there are 16 homes that exist on this one block. 13 of those families get together at least on a monthly basis. I love that. It's I, Mayberry in, I this, love in that. this particular house. It's and I gotta tell excellent. you that stonework in the front of the house is amazing. It is. This is what's called the Model 2 of the floor plans, one of the most coveted floor mm. plans in Stonebridge. And the, the, what's called the elevation, the front of the house is, is the most desirable as well with that stone. Yeah, yeah. It gives it that old world style, even mm. though the house is barely two years old. And it's classic, yeah. so it will Very. never look dated like right. some of the architectural exactly. styles. Exactly, so if we could see the next yeah. picture. So typical kitchen with a kitchenette and uh, again, meticulously maintained. The hardwood floors, you can't really see in this picture, but they're just outstanding. I see them. Yeah. They're gorgeous. Yeah. The next picture, please. They've got the wide planks, don't they? They do. I love that They look. do. It's very nice. Very elegant home. Mm -hmm. Excellent floor plan. There's a, again, it's 4,400 square feet. There's a full bedroom, full bath downstairs, which multi-generational families really like. Yeah. Uh, we're seeing in the, in the real estate market that people are starting to have their parents live with it more. And that's a great uh, option for them with this downstairs bedroom and bath. And then uh, I think the last picture, yeah, it's the backyard. So Beautiful. good, uh, good space. Spacious area. Yeah. And so it's pretty big. What is that house listed at? That one is right around a million. We're asking 975 to a million 25. Yeah, yeah worth every penny. It is, 4,400 yeah. square feet, great community. Again, just really lovely neighborhood that people really want to live at. The neighbors don't want to sell their homes. They want to stay if they it's, can. It's yeah. what I love that you know these neighbors. That you can sit here and tell me <laughs> what the neighbors are doing. Right. How many real estate agents can do that? <laughs> right. That's awesome. Right. I know almost every single house in Stonebridge. <laughs> I love that. I yeah. love that. Specific. All right, let's pull up your contact yeah. info. Certainly. So if you want to contact Brian and check out those houses or any other houses in that area, because obviously he knows the area like the back <laughs> of his hand, uh, his number is 858-354-0740. His wife, Rachel, his partner, 858-880-8870. You can email him at info at 92131.com or go to the website, www.92131.com. Oh, that's smart. That's our zip code for yeah. Scripps Ranch, yeah. so it makes it easy to that's remember. That's good marketing. <laughs>
Such a Excellent. pleasure to have you on Primetime. Thank Hope you to very see much. you back. All right, thank you.